Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson and getting ready for a potentially thrilling contest. It's Brazil versus France. Thanks Derek. Well often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The starting 11 for Brazil. Rafaelito Anjos begins between the posts. Adrian Zonta starts with Michael Catarino in the fullback positions. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so the battle commences. Giving the ball away. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through, so athletic. That's a dynamic strike. And France get the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? N'Golo Conte. Griezmann. Good move in the making from France. Paul Pogba. It's with Giroud. Mbappé. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Taken short. Conte, determined defending. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Mbappe. Coman. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. And room now out on the wing. 
Will he play it in? Pulls it back. Oh, it's a penalty. Just what they wanted to avoid, given the scoreline. And it has been judged to have been a bookable offence. Well, I think the referees got that right all round. It was a penalty and it was a yellow card. to extend their lead here. And the spot kick is converted as calmly as you like. Well, let's look at that once again, because penalties don't get much better than this. Struck high into the corner, it was never in doubt that he would score. So 2-0 now. Well, making high pressing work for them here. And never in any doubt from the keeper. Well, Brazil have bossed the possession, as you can see. Yes, they've played well. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Mbappe fine run from Mbappe but quick thinking defensively inching towards the interval and it's going with home advantage Stuart as always very keen to get your take well what a first half performance this has been so far they look like scoring every time they go forward the positional rotation, the ability of players to run with the ball and the passing have been brilliant. Let's hope we see a similar display in the second 45. Can he finish? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Over it comes. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. He takes aim, making sure it didn't get past him. Coman. Conte now. Mbappe. Teo Hernandez. Mbappe with it. Well, beaten easily here. Griezmann. It's a superb save. And now the delivery. On a time for composure on the ball. That is that for the first half here.
And so the battle... So back in business here, and no two ways about it. It was an eye-catching first-half performance from Brazil. Are they capable of matching that in the second half? Olivier Giroud. Mbappe. Good defending. And they have possession again. Coman. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Time for a change then. Who can they pick out? Danger averted for now. Too much pace on that particular pass. And the keeper will happily collect that one. Coman. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Mbappe's finish, his goal. And even when you think you've seen everything in his repertoire, he comes up with something new. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. And a fine tackle. Teo Hernandez. Paul Pogba. Has a go. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Playing it in. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Good pressure high up the pitch. Mbappe. And here's Ben Yedder, just cutting off the supply. Could be a chance to break here. Perfect tackle. Coman. Ben Yedder. The cross is on. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Mbappe. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Oh, managing to beat him. And that is how to block. Opportunity here. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Can they hit on the break? A room to roam on the wing. Brilliant save.
Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. Given away by Brazil. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Pogba unable to keep the ball. Counter-attacking, very much an option. How can he take them on and beat them? And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. I think it's accurate to say, Stuart, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today. looking for the right moment for that final pass surely and a goal 1-0 and what a fast